The 282 portal gantry crane was introduced by Lionel in 1954 and manufactured through 1957. Lionel marketed two versions of the crane. One listed as the 282 was made in the years 1954 and 1955. One listed as the 282R was made in the years 1955 through 1957. Unlike its predecessor, the 182 magnetic crane, the 282 gantry crane had wheels at the bottom of its face that allowed it to move along rails like a gantry. And this would likely be a good time to remind everyone that as a part of the ultimate train set build, I plan to build a specialty piece of track exactly for that purpose, and I plan to motorize the crane such that it can move along that piece of track. Now the crane itself has some very cool features. Electronically controlled rotating cab, electronically controlled winch and hoist, an electromagnet at the end of the hoist for carrying metal debris and scrap, hand controlled raising and lowering of the boom, and of course the ability to move along rails. Some of you may have noticed the cab is missing on my crane. That's because the cab is broken. It's split in half. It's a very sad story. Needless to say, I'll need to address this as part of the ultimate train set build. So what do you say we find out if there's anything else that needs to be addressed? The 282 portal gantry crane is very easy to set up. Two wires are connected from the controller to the transformer and that's it. Even I can handle it. The controller itself consists of three switches that control different hardware on the crane. The leftmost switch controls the motor. This is a three position switch that defaults to the center position. In the center position, the motors are off. The upper and lower positions enable the motor in either a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. The center switch controls the transmission. This is a two position switch that defaults to the lower position. In the default position, the power from the motor allows the crane cab to rotate. In the upper position, the power from the motor is transmitted to the winch for hoist operation. The rightmost switch controls the electromagnet. This is a two position switch that defaults to the lower position, but has a lock for the upper position. When in the lower position, the electromagnet is not energized. When in the upper position, the electromagnet is energized. For starting the gantry crane demonstration, I'd like to show you what happens when the transmission is switched. When the center switch is set to the upper position, a solenoid located beneath the crane and next to the motor will pull the gear axle causing gears between the main motor and the gears for the winch to mesh. When the center switch is returned to the default position, the solenoid is disabled and a spring returns the gear axle to its normal position where the gears between the main motor and the cab rotation gears mesh. You will note the movement for the gear axle is very slight. Now let's get on with the demonstration. First I'll show the cab rotating in both clockwise and counterclockwise direction. Next, I'll raise and lower the hoist. And finally, let's make sure the electromagnet works.
And one final note on the operation of the gantry, the boom will raise and lower by hand operation only, in exactly the same way as found on the burrow crane. Since the cab is currently split in half and is somewhat needed for the boom operation, I'll skip this portion of the demo. Now it appears my 282R gantry crane works perfectly minus the boom operation. So it looks like I'm good to move forward with the build. But before we do that, I'd like to compare the two different cranes in the Ultimate Train Set build. Those of you familiar with Lionel Trains and Lionel Accessories are probably well aware of the differences. Those of you who are less familiar and those of you who are keeping score at home, this is for you. Here are the pertinent statistics. Locomotion. The gantry crane doesn't have it. Okay, so you can push by hand the gantry, but I don't know in what universe or alternate reality where pushing a train by hand qualifies as locomotion. So the gantry is getting a big red X. While the burrow crane has locomotion, reversing the unit still requires a switch on the car to be thrown. Cab rotation. Both cranes have it. However, on the burrow, once again, a switch is required to enable this action. Winch and hoist operation. Both cranes have it, but the broken record continues. A switch is required to enable this action on the burrow. Boom movement. Both are identical and require user intervention. Electromagnet. The gantry has one. The burrow does not. So looking at this list, comparing both cranes, what we plan to do with the ultimate train set build is to fix the locomotion on the gantry and then to fix all these items on the burrow crane. So there you have it, on with the build.